Hi everyone, happy Monday. Bree Stevens here from my Monday Live. And I'm about to take you outside. Um, it's pretty windy where I am. I'm taking you on site in Moultonboro um, at Long Island Beach. So hopefully everyone can hear me. It's drizzling a little bit, um, but figured I'd start my live in the car just in case you can't hear me as well. But for my live, I was gonna talk about Long Island um, and some things to note when you are looking for properties and which direction they face. So come with me outside. It is extremely windy out here. So I'm out at Long Island Beach to show you. This is the public beach for the town. You can see some people are parked over here behind me. A lot of people go out right onto the bridge, I'll show you, and they're fishing right over there. They're actually coming in now. Um, but what I love when I'm going down onto Long Island is when you look to your right, you see what a lot of buyers are looking for when looking for a home. They're looking for that west, southwest facing view, open water um, for that afternoon sun. So I'll show you what that looks like today. The wind typically then comes from this direction. So you have the white caps out there, very windy, cold on this side. And I'll show you over here. So this is the beach, beautiful sand that goes out. These are the lifeguard stands. During COVID, I don't think they had them last year, but normally they have the lifeguard stands out here. And this is all the public beach, all out here. Beautiful sand, this all gets cleaned up. And all to the point there, it's all protected. The lifeguard shed there. So now, lovely hair, I'm going to show you the other side. So if you were on the other shoreline of Long Island, what your day would look like on a day like today versus white caps here, super windy, freezing cold. Granted, it's April, but this could happen on a sunny day in July too. So there's another beach area right here and you can see the difference of the water on this side. It is like glass. A lot of people will take their boats underneath the bridge, um, underneath the bridge over here and they'll come into their water sports back here because it's so much calmer. There is no waves at all. Sandy beach over here to use too. Right over behind this point is the town boat launch. So you can launch your boat there. So a lot of the times people come up here and, and they're looking for that afternoon sun, as I mentioned, yet then they come up and the waves that they're going to get most of the time, if they have young kids or elderly, you are going to get less warmer days on that side of the lake. Granted, you're going to get more sun in the afternoon. You're not going to get the sunrises, you're going to get the sunsets. But if you have kids and you're exposed on the other side, it's going to be wavy versus here, it's like glass. So it's something to weigh because a lot of people actually change their minds when they're thinking about the afternoon sun. When kids, they get up earlier, they're tired earlier as well. So they don't even last till the sunset in that afternoon sun. A lot of people then go out on their boats and go to the different towns and the restaurants by boat. So you're not even at your house that has the sunsets to begin with. I love both sides of the lake. There's different lifestyles to be had on east facing versus west facing. So it's all up to you on what you're looking for out of that lifestyle. And that's what we're here to help you with. So definitely feel free to reach out as I'm coming up, the fishermen are leaving. ice is out but this is Long Island Beach that's the bridge there a lot of people will go fishing off the beach right up the street is Jojo's country store great subs great place if you're on Long Island you don't have to drive up the neck all the way to go to the grocery store you have Jojo's which is open seasonally let me just get my car it's really cool Woo! okay so, very windy out there today, but if you have any questions, I just wanted to show how different it can be on your weather from being on one side of the lake to the other side, whether you're east or west facing. It just blows my mind sometimes coming over here to do showings and I point out the left is just totally calm. It's then warmer um, without the wind. 
So m many days you'll be on a west-facing property in a sweatshirt, sweatpants. You can't take the boat out because it's too wavy, too windy um, to take the boat off the dock. That's why a lot of the breakwaters are on that side. And then at the same time, we go to another property on the other side of Long Island. And it's like glass and you're out, you know, in a tube hanging out sunbathing. So there's the differences in looking at property when you're weighing the lifestyle to be had. If you're coming up just on the weekends and it's so weather dependent, something to think about east west facing and the exposure. But then there's great spots uh, with coves and inlets that protect you. So there's all these different factors to consider when you're looking for property on the lake and we're happy to help. So thanks for tuning in for my live. Hopefully, hopefully everyone has a great week and you had a great Easter weekend. It's getting warmer. I expect ice out, my guess is sometime in the next few days, but we'll see what happens with this wind. It's probably sooner than later. Not much sun today. So maybe in the next few days, um, that will be the trigger. So. Thanks for tuning in and have a great rest of your week. Bye.